I am Rob from Hobbsing. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got a can of beer from Lerving. This is actually a brewing collaboration with the Hop Locker and Beer Merchants. So Beer Merchants are the um, official distributors for Lerving beers in, in Europe, as far as I'm aware. And then they're also, also in collaboration with the Hop Locker, which I've never been to, but I'm aware of what it is. I think I've met the lad who was behind it a couple of times, actually. I came over for Hop City, then I saw him a couple of times in Copenhagen for a kind of beer celebration. So it's kind of like a pop-up, kind of like, it's like a, yeah, pop-up beer shop of sorts. As I said, I've never been, but I've heard good, great things. So 6% ABV, double dry hopped uh, Simcoe IPA. Let's get it poured, see what we've got. I have had a taste of this before, it was on birth, my birthday. I was a little bit drunk. I've been at Magic Rock all day, so beer in the glass. Super hazy, perfect, kind of slightly dusty orange beer, pure white foam on top. I can smell it from here, but let's give it a swell and sniff. Check out the aroma. That smells great. I'm going to tell you something really bizarre in a minute. <laughs> That's one. Pulled one out of the kind of memory bank then. The first thing that hits me is kind of is is orange and slightly kind of dried orange, you know, at Christmas. You get traditionally poking with like cloves and stuff. But I'm getting that kind of slightly aged orange thing, but it's nice. Definitely a load of marmalade, hint of rye. I know that's probably not in there, but that's there's a spiciness to it. Um, kind of like yeah, there's a certain soapiness to it, but not in a bad th bad sense. If you give me this blind, I'd never think it was Simcoe. Cause I think they've done a lovely job of it. Simcoe sometimes can be a bit kind of in a lot of very popular, well-known beers. It gets a bit too resinous, goes towards the dank side of things too much. And the dank side for me in this is the thing that I was just hinting at. Oddly. New carpet, when it's turned over, that kind of rubbery, kind of foamy layer really reminds me of that. But yes, loads of grapefruit and lime zest, hint of kiwi and, and lychee. I think it smells damn good, slightly grassy, maybe that kind of certain lemon verbena note in there as well. Yeah, great, it smells amazing. Let's dive in, cheers. Mm, nice matter body, what you kind of like becoming aware of because of beers like that, like all that lovely stuff from Trillium and Treehouse. It's the bottom side of that, but so kind of like top side of medium mouthfeel. Tastes great. Beautiful taste. Mm. One of the best all Simcoe beers I've had in a long, long time. Really shines, must be uber fresh. I guess Lurvy have got a bit of buying power, so probably getting uber fresh. 2017 kind of launch of of Simcoe. Yeah, once again, I'm gonna say the kind of hint of lemongrass, lemon with a bean. In that sense, it's kind of herbaceous, but spicy, but with a lemon kick. Little bit musty. Once again, orange, melon, bit of bitterness becoming slightly grassy. Lime peel, lemon peel. Hint of bay leaf. I think this is absolutely stunning. I mean, I've got to, I've got to say I'm well surprised by this. Mm. Superly drinkable. Just the, that mouthfeel really adds a nice dimension to the drinking experience, and the flavours perfect. I mean, Simcoe at its finest, I'd say. I think they've done a corking job with that. I think maybe you, I love Supersonic from Lervig, but the, as far as these kind of like releases from um, Lervig, I think this is one of the best. So that is Simcoe. I presume it's Simcoe Simcoe. <laughs> um, but yeah. Is, is it just called Simcoe Dry Up? Double Dry Up Simcoe IPA? There you go. Because it's because it says Simcoe twice and it's double. Uh, but yes, that's amazing. That's my waffle, 6% ABV. Lurvig in collaboration with Hop Locker and Beer Merchants. I've done a cracking job with that. I love it. I'm Rob from Hobbs and I'll see you next time. Cheers.